Quick disclaimer before you're watching this video. The tell all video that I've filmed was before the audio of Big Ed and Liz had leaked. Would you get back together with Ed? It's not worth it. You really want to have sex with a baby? Yeah, that's wow. true. The gig is up, Ed. He told me to say hi to my roomie and that she's really pretty. And my roomie right away, she's six. What? Wow. And we discussed three things today. One, I want to go to church. Two, I froze and I forgot my third point. I think you want to have sex with their babies. Ed, yes or no? You Absolutely. Try yeah, I'm screwed. That's a good thing, actually. Hey, what's up, you big babies and big Ed? How you guys doing? It's me, 16 Leo, and we are back with part two of this amazingly juicy tell all. I just want to get straight into this video, but uh, just quick shout out to Shauna. Don't know how you can have this many egos in the room and still manage to ask the wrong questions. That's a talent. Where we last left off, Big Ed was going to therapy and we've learned that he went to Vegas to hook up with other bitches as soon as he left Liz. So she's not actually the one. She's just a one. Mm. But a few videos ago, <laughs> I made a joke saying that if you subscribe, it will help me pay for my therapy when I talked about Big Ed to my therapist. I swear to the Lord himself, I had never seen this before. And I didn't know Big Ed's whole thing from now on was like, I go to therapy. So now, if you subscribe to me, it will help me so much with paying for my therapy while I talk to my therapist about how Big Ed talks about his therapist. That's, I just need this guys. While you're at it, do follow me at 16leo underscore on Instagram if you wanna give me any new ideas for videos. I would really appreciate it since we're coming to the end of the Big Ed saga. Okay, and I don't wanna hype you up, but part two ends with a bang. Almost literally, I, anyway. Is his mom, Norma. Oh. Hi, Norma. Hi, how are you? Norma, your son's been taking a beating during this, uh, it's, it's during okay. this conversation. He, he knows all about it. <laughs> Hi, Norma, I'm Nigella. Your son, Big Ed, has been taking more of a pounding than a gangbang session. <laughs> how do you feel? You know why her name is Norma and not normal? It's because she doesn't take L's. So her name might as well be Norma Woo. Because she only takes W's. The only L that she ever had was Big Ed. And does Ed need somebody his own age? Not his own age, but maybe 10 years younger or in that proximity. Uh, older than 35, 40 years. But is still young. She still wants to get together with her friends. So Big Ed's mom goes on to explain that Big Ed should probably be dating women who are like closer to his age range. And she doesn't mean anything negative about it. It's also her son. She's not gonna go out here and be like, ah, oh, Big Ed sucks and he's trash. She's gonna protect her son and she does it in the nicest way possible. So as to say that Liz may not be ready for someone that is this mature, which is not true because Big Ed is actually the immature one, but I don't think his family really sees this. So then Big Ed requests more artillery and they bring in his daughter, Tiffany. And they have this weird segment where Tiffany says she changes her blazer because she looks too much like Liz and it's kind of awkward. Let's bring in Tiffany. Tiffany to weigh in. Oh, yay. All right. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Hi. Now, I understand you, you just changed your outfit because it was so similar to Liz's, right? Yeah, our blazers were very similar colors. So nice blazer. <laughs> <laughs> Until you realize that Tiffany's just being a great daughter because she doesn't want Ed to confuse the two and try and make sexual remarks at his daughter again. Cause that would be crazy. What a good daughter she is. Mm. <laughs> but I was like, no. Similar taste, similar yes. taste. We're similar in age too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, four years, not really that close. <laughs> I don't know. It was awkward when we first met. I totally had resting bitch face. That wasn't my intention at all when we first met. I was very, very nervous. I don't know, like, I don't really know you. Tiffany goes on to say that she didn't actually mean some of the stuff that she said. She just didn't know who Liz was, uh, which isn't really an excuse. Let's be honest, you should respect everyone. But uh, secondly, she goes on to say that, you know, she still doesn't know why Big Ed dates people that young. And she finds it a bit weird that he was in Vegas with two other uh, bitches two days later. I will say the last breakup, when I did see that post too with the two girls, I was like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, I mean, I'm <clears throat> sorry, Colt. The therapist is getting a lot of that out of me that I um, have- What? What the f What? Does this man just bring up his therapist again? Have, I don't love myself. And here I have a girlfriend. I'm like, why is she with me? 
So then Big Ed goes on to say that, you know, he just can't love himself. And he's like, why is my girlfriend with me? To which I have to say, yeah, why? Because if you can't love yourself, how can you love someone else? How can you look at someone else and be like, I can be everything you need me to be today? So if you're not ready, that's absolutely fine. But don't take someone else's time and energy and effort and, and just throw it away. If you're not ready for a relationship, work on yourself. And once you are ready, the pieces will fall into place. I mean, that's what I believe. Why does she like me? You know, it's... I've been asking myself that for nine fucking episodes. Can we get an answer? Can Shauna, can you follow up on that? You know, it's... Why, Liz? Can someone answer? Even Big Ed doesn't know why this woman likes him. So nobody knows except Liz. Please, can you tell us why? I want to know what he has that another guy doesn't have. It's got to be that donkey dong or something. And that's why I was acting like such an asshole. I like the attention. It made me forget being with somebody that cheated on. I, I just, that, that's the problem I have. And that's probably why. We don't care about your problem. Damn. <laughs> he's like talking. He's pouring his heart out. He's like, it's because uh, I have a craving for attention. It's probably because... Uh, people have been cheating on me. No, and I, nobody, nobody cares, cares. dude. What? Nobody what? cares. <laughs> that was actual savagery by everyone there. Jesus, Nigella didn't even stop it. She's just watching this bloodbath with like a bowl of popcorn right now. So uh, they take a little break because this is a long tell all. It's a two part. But anyway, listen to this amazing coherent dialogue that they got here. It was really old. You made it final. But you accepted it. You dropped my shit off and then blocked me and left to Vegas. I'm so afraid of being hurt. I didn't expect for you to hurt me. I didn't expect to fall in love with you. This sounds like oblivion dialogue. It only vaguely pertains to the first question. She's like, I never thought that you would leave me. I haven't been hurt in a long time. Do you still love me? I have been to Vegas, but only because of heartbreak. You wanted me to move in. And yes, what of it? The curtains do have my face on it. Like, is this even a conversation or is this just two people talking next to each other and some of the words connect? That's what it seems like. So the next part of this gets super graphic, but it's so big Ed that I have to show it to you. When he was on Bears All, he told us about having his vasectomy. Wow, a lot of emphasis on that one, Nigella. He had a vasectomy. I'm Nigella. So I just arrived in LA. I'm gonna go jerk off in a cup. I want to remind you that this is on Discovery Channel. <laughs> Discovery Channel. Two things you might find in any given day is Bear Grylls eating elephant poo-poo or Big Ed talking about jacking off. Discovery Channel. The only thing that I've discovered recently is how immense my disappointment can be. I'm worn out. What? Oh my god. But I got this one. I got it. That's a little Ed Jr. in there. <laughs> what the hell? Why is he sweating? What the? What are you doing, dude? You sweat from that? Thank you so much, Nigella. This was amazing footage. It has nothing to do with anything. Thank you, as usual, for showing us footage that doesn't even need to be on this channel. Discovery Channel, sperm whale month, I guess. No. Right. No. I gotta bring some mold back. No. Oh my God. <laughs> God, dude, why don't you keep your mom and daughter in for that part? God damn. As soon as they leave, just the ugh, comes out. Liz, shocking? No. Oh, no. I went with Ed to that appointment. And that was the day he also met my mom. <laughs> you know what my face is like? This dude's face right here. That is exactly how I feel right now. Damn, son. Did Big Ed meet your mother before or after? Cause that makes a huge difference in the scenario. What I'm saying is, did he have some material to... All right. Did you know that Ed was going to propose? I don't know. Yes or no? I didn't listen. I heard boyfriend material and I just, you know, freaking went for it. She said boyfriend material. I bought some material to put on my back. It turned out to be a suit. Maybe I had a ring. I love that he just understands how far that he jumps. This is the king of long jumps. Metaphorically, definitely metaphorically. King of long jumps in terms of relationship. She just said, your boyfriend material. He's like, marriage? Have you ever asked someone out 
and didn't think that you were going to spend the rest of your life with them the day you asked them out because I don't know how much of a psychic you have to be to know your future already. The day Big Ed even went out on their first date, he probably had their tombstones already written, engraved. He's like, yeah, Big Ed and Liz five ever. This is how fast this dude moves. It's too much, bro. Oh, and the bombshell here is that Liz somehow, despite everything that Big Ed is and does to her, says this. I still love him. I still want to be with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fernando. I don't know what really that was, but I feel it too. This is the feeling I think we all have. How? What? Why? TLC isn't paying you anymore. I mean, they paid you to do the special. You really want this? Look at the guy next to him. There's no guy, I just wanted to say that. Then Nigella slash Shauna interjects and she's like, hey, Big Ed, are you willing to give this relationship another try? And instead of saying, yeah, Big Ed says this. Ed, are you willing to give your relationship with Liz another try? My daughter made me a list. What do you like about Liz? And, and the frustration list was like 20. And what I liked her about her was like three, including Riley. Riley's the kid, I think. So just two things. Ass and tits, is that? That is humbling when a sentient potato looks at you and is like, I can see 20 things wrong with you, but only two good about you. Three if you include your kid. Wow. Damn, well, I didn't prepare for this moment, but if we had a pros and cons list right now. Pro, Big Ed can dance well. Con, Big Ed look like potato. Con, Big Ed don't have neck. Con, Big Ed move too fast. Con, Big Ed lies a lot. Con, Big Ed doesn't put other people first. Con, Big Ed is super possessive. Con, Big Ed might want to date his daughter. Con, Big Ed's hair probably still smells like mayo. Con, fused as to why Liz is still dating him. Liz. Would you get back together with Ed? I do have hope we can make it work. How? Why? What? My boys are just getting high at this part. Sorry. <clears throat> what are you talking about? Why? I just don't get it. I am sitting here and this is like the Da Vinci Code for me. I'm trying to crack it, but I can't. Like, I don't know what this man has. He has one less thing than most humans have. And you're telling me he deserves a second chance? I don't know. I don't know about that, Liz. She's not the problem in their relationship at all. How can you be because, so one-sided? It takes I two can people see that, to make like, a relationship. I can tell that for many things. It takes one like, person to have sex with a sugar baby. There it is. There it is. He's back at it. One person to have sex with a sugar baby. I feel like he just learned that word before he came on. Like one of the producers was like, hey, Colt, sugar baby. And Colt was like, sugar baby? Huh. Sugar baby! I just don't think that he is ready for a serious relationship. And he's totally, he's just saying that because he wants to be perturbed by that. When you get bored or whatever, you're gonna go get attention from sugar babies. Pretty girls come up to you, hey big guy, take a picture. Can you give that up for her? Then the couch interjects and Colt actually says something that I want to expand on. After he says his famous sugar babies line, it actually makes a lot of sense. Big Ed is uh, an attention whore, so to speak. He really likes the attention of other people at the start of the show. He even looked at Fernanda and said, I want anything to happen between me and her. I genuinely think what it is, is when you grow up and you don't have maybe the attention that you've always wanted to. And suddenly you get this sort of infamy or fame and girls might want to date you or want to be seen with you because you have some sort of status. You let that get to your head if you're not actually grounded. I genuinely think this dude really likes the attention more than he wants to love. And that's the thing that really gets to me. Cause Liz is just being used as like a person he can come to whenever he's done with that sort of stuff. That's why he was in Vegas with two people two days later. Because he loves the attention. If Julia Roberts came to sit on that couch next to Liz and said, Big Ed, take me now, do you think he would hesitate? I wouldn't. Oh, Julia Roberts. Anyway, yeah, whatever. I'm not the one dating Liz. I'm not on trial. He came up to me behind the scenes and he told me to say hi to my roommate and that she's really pretty. See, there we have it. And he didn't even tell you, Fernando, but he came to us behind the scenes and said he would like to do anything with you. Just, just anyone. He probably looked at Nigella, Shauna, and was like, damn, Shauna, Nigella. Nice to see you here again. But she couldn't understand because she's an alien. She doesn't reproduce with humans. She's just like, oh, he's doing that weird thing again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is going down. You're mic'd up, dude. 
You can't be whispering it only gets louder. In my roomie, by the way, she's 26. Fuck! Liz, what is your reaction to that? Shit, 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 shit. He's single right now. Oh my God. What? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> What the hell? This is like the Rachel and Ross situation. It's the we were on a break thing all over again. And she's agreeing with Ross. But she's Rachel. If he's committed to you, don't let him get away with this Liz. I like Ross. He one of my favorite. But what he did was clearly wrong. Clearly. That's too soon. I'm sorry. It's just, that's not okay. Team Rachel, they were not on a break. It's too soon. Like, even the face of Big Ed was like, what? You're okay with that? Well, <laughs> well, clearly we don't have as many problems as I thought we did. <laughs> I, I cannot believe that she bailed him out and she was like, yeah, that's okay. I would have body slammed him. Well, I would have bitch slapped him or something. I don't know if I can pick up that much weight. Yeah, who, who here wants to do an over and under that you guys won't last six months. Put it because, on them. We're talking about, about No, I'll tell you why. Because I just, he's... I just wait seven he's, months. He's been idiot. such a... <laughs> it's like two high school bullies that happen to hate each other as well. How about I give you six months so your relationship lasts? And instead of Colt just ignoring him, he's like, how about I wait seven months, idiot? You dumb idiot. I could wait seven months before I break up with her. This is so childish because it's two adults talking about a relationship and the girl's right there. And he's like, I'll just wait seven months before I break up with her. As if she's not going to hear that. Yes, I will say Ed is a gaslighter. I can tell it. I can smell it you're on you. It you're, smells like gasoline. You're crazy. He puts his hand up in the air like he's doing a speech. It is a gaslighter. I can tell it. I can smell it on you. <sighs> that smells like a fart because it's gas, baby. You're a gaslighter. Hey, you're, you're crazy. crazy. Something is you. wrong with you psychologically. You Look at you. Head. No. You think I'm crazy? Yeah. Listen, you listen. have your mother. <laughs> Shauna, <laughs> this would be a great time to be like, hey. Can we get back to the topic? Come on, Shauna. Two people are literally crazy laughing at each other. Did you not see Colt be like, ha 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 ha? Nobody wants to see that. I didn't know I was gonna get an audition for the Joker movie. Your, Look at you, man. Your daughter Look, come on. telling you that you have issues to work on. Who Don't project on him. stickers everywhere. Don't project on other people. <laughs> you can still hear him in the background. <laughs> Who has the fucking stickers everywhere? You're crazy. <laughs> Why is he talking like that? <laughs> this dude literally turned into the Joker in the space of four or five seconds. All you have to do is agitate and be like, Hey Colt, your relationship won't last. Sugar baby, sugar baby, sugar baby. <laughs> I hate you. I'm gonna kill everyone. Thanks Colt. I was just making a joke, but all right. Can I speak? This is the first time in my life, Fernanda, that I've ever been in therapy. Yeah. Oh, and it's because yeah, yeah, yeah. just because you went just three sessions, it doesn't mean anything. Oh. Again with the therapy, everybody is just tired of the shit now. Therapy might unlock the problems and unravel the stuff that you have going on, but you cannot blame every single thing on therapy. This is three women from three different points in your life, and you still haven't moved on. We have a point of reference. Rose was the point of reference. You're still doing the same shit years later. That means that you haven't really grown and when you're 55 and someone tells you that you're immature, that is a very scary place to be in. Stop blaming therapy unless your therapist is like OJ or Kevin Spacey, then you have a real problem. Stop. I still love her and we discussed three things today. One, we both know we drink too much, so no more alcohol. Wow, uh, okay. But like when people say stuff like that, those are huge statements to make, aren't they? Uh, we both drink too much, let's just stop. Yeah, but it's not that easy, is it? I've never seen someone smoke crack and then be like, oh, you know it's ruining my life? Crack, I'ma stop doing that and just stop. Have you ever seen that? If that happened, they wouldn't have these AA programs. There'd be no rehabilitation. It's not that easy is what I'm saying. It goes deeper than that. It's like, why do you drink? Why do you feel the need to be so inebriated next to your partner? Do you not want to enjoy their company sober? Can you work out those things? That's what your therapist is going to tell you. You can't just go from here to there just like that. It's a progression thing. But uh, yeah, carry on. You seem to have three points. Two. She's going to church. I want to go to church. I need spirituality. Okay, well, first you need to know how to say the word correctly. Spirituality. Need spirituality. Yeah, well, it sounds like you still haven't done part one of your three-part theory on how to get better. I don't know if you've been drinking, but the word is spirituality, not whatever the hell you just said. Because I know we won't be able to do this on our own. So he literally said 
that she need Jesus to help this relationship. That's what he literally said. He's like, it can't be just the two of us. I literally need the Lord and Savior, God's son, to fix this shit that we call a relationship. I drank so much the last time we fought that I peed out wine, okay? We fight every day and we don't go to church. That's my problems. If we just go to church and don't drink, we gonna be fine. That's Big Ed's theory. Not the jealousy, the anger, the commitment issues, the fear of her leaving, the age thing, not any of that stuff. It's just drinking in church, baby. So Shauna asked the couple, will they go to therapy to see if they can work it out? And Liz, somehow, she's like, yes. If we do a couple therapy sessions, I still feel the same spark I did for Big Ed. <sighs> she should. She, she, Are you and Liz? going to give it another shot. What is the answer to that? I would like to go to at least one, maybe three therapy sessions. I can just like look at him and we just fall back into our conversation and everything. Yeah. This is a woman who friend zoned Big Ed, told him not to make it weird when they kissed, was embarrassed when he said they did it twice, didn't really seem to want to be his girlfriend and really did not seem to want to move in, but still has feelings for him. My confusion is immeasurable right now. Ed? Yes or no? You want to give it another shot or no? Shauna asked a yes or no question, so you already know that Big Ed is not going to answer it at all. Just watch this. I haven't seen this part. I already know he's not going to say either yes or no. The only thing that gives me pause is the fact that it... it See what I mean? It was a yes or no question, and this dude is going to write an essay and get an F for it, so wow. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Ed, are you committing to three sessions or no? When I love you, Liz, I want... I want. <laughs> How can you say I'm God, okay? I'm dead. Do, do we have? How do we have a muzzle? You love her? Do we have a muzzle? Ten minutes before, be like, hey, you got your friend's hot. Can I get her number? <laughs> I love you, Liz. How can you say that? Did you see his partner? She was like, <sighs> Holt is just getting like aggressive. How can you say that? How can you say that? I'm dead. How can you say that? I fully agree with him. How many chances do you give someone? If someone really is willing to change, they'll change and you'll see it. And if you see it and you're willing to accept them back in your life and you really do care about them, that's great. If you don't, don't keep giving someone chances because they're going to keep letting you down. What I'm saying is don't have hope for a situation that is clearly hopeless. I've been in situations like that and just hurt myself. Don't do it. Production, How do we have any love? duct tape? Somebody gaffer. How is that love? Answer my question. I love how Shona didn't even follow up on a ridiculously good question by Colt. How is it love if you're clearly flirting with other people? How can you say that you love someone and then be in Vegas with two other bitches and then uh, say that you want stuff to do with Fernanda and then say her friend is her? How can you then say you love Liz this whole time and can't stop thinking about her? Huh? Shona, these are questions that you should follow up on. <laughs> She's just sitting there like... I think I asked this man about therapy a while ago. I don't think he answered yet, so. So, Ed, you're saying that, yes, you will give it another shot. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The minute she started talking, I'm like, I'm screwed because I'm in love. Okay. That's a good thing, actually. Oh, God. I, I was watching Liz during that, and she looked like she was actually into it. She was like, that's my man right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my man right there. You see him? Uh, the one who looks like a dumpling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's him. You mean the one with the bowling shirt? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, right there. You mean the one with no neck? Yeah, okay. How many other people do you know that look like him? Okay, I know that he looks like Humpty Dumpty. I know that but he's sexy to me. I'm actually so shocked that Liz is even entertaining this idea after all the shit that she's been through. I don't know, I just think that Big Ed um, is not right for her. It seems like Big Ed has this sort of infatuation and then when he gets too comfortable, he does something to mess it up and then gets her back. It's like this constant up and down and it's never balanced and you need balance in a committed relationship. It can't just be like this every day. And that's sort of when filming stops. So they're trying to work things out. And then there's a conversation they had shortly after filming that would tell you everything about where this is going. Hey, um, you wanna go talk? Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen tonight. 
I mean, I'm thinking about whether I'm going to want to have sex with or not. It's probably not a good idea. Is that going to stop you? Um, probably not. Really? That's what I just heard come from this man's big frog like lip? What? Can this, is this real? After all this tell all special, we broke up, you're not the one for me, I don't want to see you here, this, that, everything under the sun. My mom says I should date people 10 years younger, not 300 years younger. My daughter looks like you, uh, I asked you to move in, you moved out. Everything, it ends with, I'm gonna try having sex with her and they leave home in the same car? God, this is a mess. This is toxic. This is so toxic. This is like the people of Chernobyl would be like, whoa, don't bring that toxicity here. He's just a big ball of egotism and jealousy and possessiveness and you still want to talk to him? He's like a Pokeball and if I threw him at another Pokeball, He'd take that Pokeball and not let me open it because he's that possessive. <laughs> Shauna, save someone. I'm not ready for another season of Big Ed. I don't know if I can handle seeing this man body slam another person. Actually, that was very funny, but I can't handle him do other things. That's the tell all. It ends with this ambiguous ending about Liz and Big Ed driving off into a car, possibly later having that night, which would be the bang that I was talking about. And with that, we come to the end of the Big Ed saga. Wow, I, I guess I didn't think we'd make it this far. Didn't really know I was gonna do this. Um, I'm so glad that you guys have enjoyed the series. I never really wanted to post like the same video or the same person time and time again, but this series engaged me and I think it engaged you guys as much. So if there's anything else that you guys would like me to talk about, leave it in the comments or message me to Big Ed and Liz. I, you know, if you guys are gonna try, I hope you make it to everyone else in the world. I, I just wanna say sorry for for the visuals. It's a bit of sweet ending. I don't really know how to say goodbye, but I hope to see you here on the next video. All right, take care guys and fluffs. I think you should finish this one off. Bro, that would be crack up. And we'll just vlog out, we'll vlog our own experience. Taking back control, on a pole. You don't gotta let me, just be making that money.